uh, it's an exciting day for the county because we uh, uh, entered a, into a partnership agreement with REWA for the uh, the sewer services for the northern part of Anderson County, which is, includes uh, Piedmont, Powdersville, Williamston, and uh, you know this is a huge uh, uh, opportunity for us to partner with someone this uh, this this a quality organization like REWA, and on top of that, we're saving the taxpayers about thirty five million dollars. And what else did council do today at this last meeting of the budget year? Um, you know, we had a, we had a small rezoning uh, 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 thing come up for a company that's going to invest in the into the uh, the Williamson area. Um, so we took care of that. Um, we also um, authorized a uh, the, the go forward with a 2.2 million dollar paving contract with uh, Pickens uh, to go ahead and get some paving started in, on some county roads. We voted on a the expansion of the Whitefield Convenience Center, which is a heavily used convenience center for the county, and we look forward to that expansion as well. We also bought our first pothole patching machine, which gives us the year-round capabilities to hot patch, not just cold patch, which we all know, we hear that a lot, that cold patching doesn't last, but it's what we all we could do up to this point. But this is basically a mini asphalt plant that the county will have as a tag-along uh, piece of equipment, and will give roads and bridges a, a huge step forward in the, the patching potholes across the county 365 days a year, not just when it's warm. So that, that was one of the things we did. We also went into executive session to talk about our voter registration office and, and, and what we're doing with that. We, we're uh, kind of going on a month-by-month -month lease with our, with our current existing uh, building uh, while we continue to, you know, to, to go forward with that. Uh, we also took into consideration a bid on the Pickens TTI, the former Ryobi building in Pickens, and we, the, county, the Anderson County owns that building. And we got a great bid, a lot more than we've gotten in the past, to sell that business for six hundred plus thousand dollars. So that money will be used for capital improvements within Anderson County. Um, and uh, other than that, it was a pretty quick and uh, uh, painless meeting. But we look forward to starting our new budget year uh, on Monday morning. And there'll be no regular council meeting this week. But that's we, this was instead of the July second meeting. Right. We kind of did a two for one today. So we, we took the we took the week of the fourth off. So no meeting on July second, and then we'll be back on the regular schedule in the middle of July. You want to invite people to come out because we don't ever get a lot of people at the council meetings. You know, and especially from District 6, because it is a good little ways down here, but uh, that being said, I encourage all of our citizens to be, come out and be a part of council, and uh, the agendas are posted online and have a, have a chance to have an input of what goes on, because what council does affects your daily life, and, and it's an important part of our, of our local government, and I, I would invite everyone to come out in at least one council meeting a year.